Hi, my name is Wang Liang, the Aragon Watch Designer, and welcome to our Aragon Watch presentation. In today's video, I would like to show you one of our latest design. In about a couple of weeks ago, we debuted the same collection, which is the Aragon Caprice Military Edition. Okay, and what we want to show you today is another choice for the same collection. So a couple of weeks ago, we did the um, automatic chronograph, which is the ME86 with the th you know two subdials, three and nine clock position. But today, we're going to show you a clean three hands automatic, okay, with the date window at the three o'clock position, which is the SII NH35. So let's come in, and I want to show you the new color that I've added to this collection, which is amazing. Okay, here we go. So what you see here is the Aragon Caprice Military Edition, okay? The goal and the design concept behind it is large window, easy to read, and also provide some of the military colors, such as the green, the black, and the blue. Now, I'm gonna go through the color first, and then later on, I'll point out you know, the difference between the NE86 and versus the NH35. Okay, the difference between the designs and a slightly something is a little bit different than the others. All right, so you saw the green, the black, and the blue. Now, let's take a look at this color. So we're trying to imitate, you know, um, it's, it's, the, it's the cream beige color, kind of like a gold, you know, golden, but what we were trying to look for originally was that, you know, the desert storm, there's like the camouflage between the light and the dark brown, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have two sizes. This one over here is a 48. This one over here is a 44. Now let me use this page to point out all the features between the three hands and the uh, automatic chronograph. So firstly, we have this chapter ring, okay? This chapter ring is made out of metal, okay? So you can see all the minute markers are on the outer circle, and this area is flat, and then it slopes down to the dial. Now the dial, we're using this seal screen printing and print out the numbers which is the minute, like 0, 5, 10, 15, vice versa. And then what I like a lot about the dial is the texturization. You see, it's not a sunray texture. So it's, this texture is um, sort of like, not like, it's like a sand type of texture. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to move the, the dials with the reflection maybe it makes it easier to see. So I really enjoy this. So if you also see the numbers, the 12, the, you know, uh, the hour index, it's raised above the dial, right? You can see that. So it's actually it's one piece coming out of the dial. So when we're doing the stamping, okay, the stamping on the dial, so these are all raised and embossed, okay? So that's the step what we get, went through. And after that, we'll imprint the white loom on top of the hour index. That's how we were doing this. So now what you see is also the hour hand and the, and the minute hand. You see how the middle, the center area is all done in black. And this is all here is white loom glows green. The date window is behind the minute hand. And let me show you the crown. This is an oversized crown. What I've been designing the crown like this a lot. I uh, used to put the logo and then fill it up with loom, but recently I've been doing the crown like this. Uh, a very large circle and fill, fill it with green loom, glows green, very thick. So this is like when you charge it, it's gonna glow quite bright because of the thickness, the amount of loom material, loom paint material on the crown. Now, let me turn this around. Exhibition case back with the Andro Aragon Blue rotor. Okay, let me do this. NH35. 
All right, screw down case back. All right, so we have two sizes, right? So let me show you one more thing is, all right, here's the bezel. It's a one-step bezel. So when you, when you get this watch at home, you can feel this. The polishing on the now clock position is a lot easier to see without the crown. So you can see it's a one-step bezel and it's done horizontal polishing with this very fine line of finishes. You can see that, okay? So the thickness for the 48 millimeter is slightly thicker than the 44. So this is 15 and a half and the 44 is 14 and a half, okay? So now let's talk about the leather straps because I really, really believe this is one of the nicest leather strap we've made. So on the back, the back of the leather strap, this is a suede leather, okay? The front is using this nylon material. But don't forget, we also have done this right here. So we added another leather material. So the purpose of doing this is, you know, nylon, you know, over time through use, it will fray. So what we've done is, we added another piece of leather for the protection of the nylon. Every time when you buckle the, the leather strap together, stitching on the outside, stitching all around this part of the leather is for extra protection. It's, it is really an incredible design. Um, there's, I hate to say this, I've, you know, I've done many, many of the videos. I always say this, there's not a bad color. I like them all. Uh, you know, for some of you, if you, you know, have to pick, I think it's going to have a hard time picking your favorite color. You know, I, through the comments that we've heard last time from um, the automatic chronograph, a lot of people are liking the military green. So now what we, you're seeing this blue, let me show this. So you can see the texture. All right. With the blue. Can you see that? It's really, really nice. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to go outside to wear the watch on the under the sunlight so where you can see the watch without the studio color. I think it gives you a better impression of what the real color looks like. You know, sometimes in you know you're watching this with your phone or your computer or your TV, it's hard to tell with the real actual color. Okay. The crystal is K1. As compared to the automatic chronograph is sapphire crystal. All right, so very good. So a um, couple more things I want to say is screw down crown. Make sure you lock the crown after you reset the date and the, and the time. Water resistance, 200 meters, okay? Large number for easy reading. And the theme behind this has taken me a long time. I really enjoy this. I, I You know, I've done a lot of varieties of design, right? We have... With the Aragon brand, we have the uh, dive watches. We have um, some of the designs is a little bit unusual, very unique, such as the Millipede or the Hydromatic. But this is back to everyday life, every day where you um, want to have a timepiece where it's easy to read. Um, it reminds you of, you know, active lifestyle and all that. But something different, something different from Aragon. You know, the color-wise, the color theme, the material that we use, the value that we provide. So now, make sure you stay until the end of the video because we're going to show you about a 5 to 10 seconds uh, loom shot. And also, I'm going to go outside and wear the watch, show you the watch, what it looks like under the sunlight. All right, here we go. We're going to go right now.